Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading of the 5th of April right through to the 11th of April. I have done some oracle cards and some tarot cards for yourselves. So I'm starting off first with the lover's oracle deck. So this is about your love life. So the first card that came out then is passion. So you, you are going to have a lot of insane chemistry with this person that's coming in for you. Um, you both like each other, you both have a lot in common, um, there is just a strong connection that you and this person have um, and there is a sense of having fun with this person. You then have Cupid's arrow, there is a sense of having faith um, and taking a chance on this relationship. Um, there is a new love that is coming in for you. There is going to be a surprise invitation or a meeting that is coming up, um, but there may be a little bit of hesitation on your part. You then have the twin flame, so there is definitely a twin flame coming in for you with a strong soul connection. Um, you both complement each other a lot. Um, you are both going to be a great couple. You have the date card, so there is um, a new date that is coming in for you. Um, there is a sense of meeting someone new for some of you and getting up there and getting to plan and set a date. You then have girl talk. So this is about, you know, spending a lot of time with friends, moving on with your life, feeling happy, single um, and living in the moment for some of you and having a lot of fun. You then have the snake. So this is about either feeling like you're in a competition with someone um, or there is like an enemy that's lurking around you. Um, someone is being very clever, but also there is signs of maliciousness being involved. Either you or this person constantly looks over their shoulder and there is potentially um, another third party that's involved here as well. Um, you have seduction, so this is about the third party again coming in. This is all about a lot of attraction, a lot of flirting that you're having with someone, going out dating, um, hooking up, and there's a lot of um, temptation coming up as well. You have the card of stabbed in the back, so either you feel like you're going to be heartbroken, you're feeling sad, um, in a lot of pain, there's some type of separation, or there is something um, that's going to take you by surprise, something that's going to shock you. Then you have the butterfly. So this is about a relationship that's going to bloom, is going to prosper, is going to um, evolve, and it's going to go to a next phase. Um, and for others, then, it is a sense of healing your own inner child, having a lot of growth come in. We have the tarot cards for yourselves now then. So you have the four swords. So you are going to take a lot of time out. You're going to have a lot of rest, rejuvenation. Some of you may be feeling a bit unwell, feeling a bit poorly at this time um, and just not connecting to anyone. This could be linked to some type of frustrations that you're going through. This is making you a bit bedridden or there is a sense of... Um, taking a lot of time out from work because there's a lot of things that have been bringing you down. You have the Six of Cups, so there is someone that's coming in from the past and um, there is reliving um, some childhood memories um, or some some type of um, connection you had with someone in the past um, that may be coming in for you. And you have the Four of Wands, so this is about either getting married um, or celebrating something um, with someone from the past. Um, there could be a wedding, there could be a commitment, it could be having a new home or some type of celebration. So maybe someone from the past that's coming back home um, and there's a big celebration on the horizon. And again, there may be someone that was living with you from in the past that is coming back and this could be a family member that's coming back and you're celebrating for them being home. With the saints and angels then, you have the card of retreat. So you will be going on a retreat. You are going to be having a long time uh, and taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself. 
you are going to be having a lot of confidence you're going to have a lot of bravery there is a sense of um you know the lion coming out you know brave confidence and a lot of courage and you are going to be having a wise decision whatever decision you're going to be doing it is going to be very wise then you have mother wife sister and daughter so this is um either mother wife sister or daughter that's going to be surrounding you or this may be yourself i'm going to read this out of the book to go into more detail okay balance your masculine and feminine energy by practicing giving and receiving on a daily basis be willing to forgive a woman in your life who seemed to have hurt you a female deceased loved one is saying i love you from heaven and a new relationship with a woman will prove to be very significant moonology deck let's see what they have for you let's see so you have the full moon in Taurus with your dreams need a practical plan. Write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. Chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy creates negative energy and attract negativity. More exercise is called for. Mutable moon with nothing is yet set in stone. I know the best will unfold for me. You're meandering towards your goal and that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it, whatever it means for you. New moon eclipse. I expect a powerful change. Never mind the past. Life evolves each and every single day. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. I am committed to my dreams and move towards them with confidence. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something and you need to recommit to someone or something. Okay, the daily guidance for this week from the angels is steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts and feelings and your actions of love. Let your past go. The burden of cottering your past around has made you weary, dearie one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or don't need it and now it is gone. Reward yourself. You've been given a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningfully way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a consistently high level. Child. So you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, requires love, affection and attention. 
We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need to. Then you have family. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself and experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gift within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Okay, health and healing from Archangel Raphael. You have the card of children again. Let's see what they want to say. Okay. Conception, pregnancy or birth or adoption. Your life purpose involves helping children. The angels are assisting the child you inquired about. Develop childlike qualities such as innocence, purity, hour and playfulness. Take guided action to help your child and your children are watched over and protected. Forgiveness heals. Forgive yourself for what you think you did or you didn't do. Be willing to forgive your body. Write a letter to the person you've been angry with. Then destroy it as a symbol of releasing that negative emotion. Forgive repeatedly until you find peace. Be honest with yourself and others about your true feelings. Give us your cares. Ask for help more often from people as well as angels. Talk about your feelings with trusted individuals in addition to the angels. Practice relaxation methods such as a massage, meditation, nature walks or yoga. Trust that everything is okay. Last one then is the divine intervention. The angels are with the person whom you're praying for. Notice signs and intuition as this is a divine guidance giving you a roadmap to your answered prayers. Have patience with the process of divine timing. If you look, you find the hidden blessing within every situation. Trust and have faith. Okay, and now we have the last deck, then, which is the unicorns. You have the card of wishes. Be careful what you wish for as one wish will be granted. Okay then Pisces, that is your reading. I hope you will resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and i see you again soon. Bye.